Hello, everyone. A lot of the old time viewers will know that I love torturing myself for your entertainment. They've literally bombed everything. Everything has been disrupted. So I thought today for a fun little challenge, I'll make the most difficult scenario in Star Sector that I could think of. Now, I know what you guys will immediately start suggesting is I just do the space to start. And that would be a good suggestion. However, that was uh, that was that was too easy. So I thought I'd make it a little bit harder by making every faction hate me randomizing the core worlds and, and giving my starting ship some D mods. Not that that really matters, as if you look closely at my ship, you'll see that it has um, no guns. Oh, before this video starts, I did want to just say a big thank you for 70,000 subscribers. That's absolutely wild. As I probably said on the introduction, this is my kite ship. It has uh, no guns, no nothing. Now, the first thing I needed to do was to make some money. So I went back to basics and snuck into the prison free port to buy some drugs. Drugs we can buy for 171 and sell for 533. I think that's the best trade that we can do. We can buy 10. <laughs> right, let's just slip away, slide away. We're, we're currently dark. We have, a, <laughs> we have a sensor profile of 86. That's the only thing we got going for us. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, uh, attempt to disengage. The enemy force harasses your ship as they retreat. Fantastic. Right, let's get out of here. Run away. Oh, son of a bitch, there's another one. Right, planet was down here somewhere, so let's just let's just run. I don't have enough fuel to get there. Okay, looks like we're dipping into another system. Oh, fuck. This is, oh, uh, this is not good. Uh-oh. We are now being pulled towards the star. We just need to get to a planet. There's a there's a pirate planet here. We're just gonna we're just gonna slip into that. Okay, so we'll sell them four supplies so we can buy 13 fuel. <laughs> this is like the most desperate trades in the world. <laughs> We've got 13 fuel. Right, let's, let's let's get out of here now. Okay, we're at the system. Let's go for the far jump point. Our target is this station here. Thankfully, it's on the outer ring and it looks like it's just a station. So we should be able to just cruise through the rocks here. Right, dip into the field, go dark and just slowly, nice and gentle. We approach the station. We offload our 10 drugs. So we now have 5,916. And we leave. Weird ASMR drug smuggling aside, I was able to take my initial 2,000 credits and turn it into a grand total of 74,000. This allowed me to move on to my next money-making adventure of buying a small fuel tanker and a salvage ship and exploring outside the core worlds, which in theory should be safer. Now, there's a logic path mission here that wants me to analyze an orbital laboratory for 60,000. But then what's great about that is I get to then look in the laboratory so hopefully we might get some spicy loot here which will give me some cash alongside the 60 grand i'm gonna make here we go into deep space we go let us pray that the star sector gods are feeling generous today here it is here's the orbital lab uh run the sensor package so that's 60 grand from the logic path thank you very much uh yeah we do not have a good resource recovery effectiveness but we'll see what we can find well that's shit <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I was expecting a little bit more on the double dip. Okay, two gamma cores. That's okay. And a battle cruiser blueprint. That's 355 grand there. That's good money. We like that. We can go sell that to some pirates and make ourselves some good cash. I won't lie. I generally forgot how much money you can make from just accepting those exploration quests. As I made a tasty 388,000 credits from selling my booty alongside the initial 60k reward. And this, uh, this allowed me to treat myself. This, my friends, is an assault cruiser. And oh boy, buying this ship was a good idea because it allowed me to go out and have a little bit of fun. Yeah, the trend of murdering poor traders for no real reason or profit continued until the Persian League threw another quest to me to analyze an orbital lab. However, this one proved to be a little bit harder to find than the last one. God damn it, it's one of these stars. No! No! <laughs> I'm being consumed by the star. This is a little bit difficult. The station is now out of the beam. So we just burn over the star and into the station. Okay, not, not the best stuff in the world, but we'll take it. Okay, not, not the best stuff. And then we just slide away. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't know that one. Just emergency burn over the star and don't worry about it. Ah, fucking... Ah, ah here's the orbital lab we're looking for. That's 40 grand, and then we also get the, uh... Oh, we are. We also get a blueprint. We can get a legion. Oh, my God. We can have the blueprint for the locomotive. And then a bunch of... Eh, all right stuff here. All right, well, that wasn't too bad after all. We've actually got ourselves some pretty decent stuff here. So, uh, let's just run away and get out of the system before we get absorbed by that star again. All right, well, there we are. 
254,000 there for those heavy weapons. We sell some of this heavy machinery as well. And there we are. We are a millionaire, baby. With that successful expedition, it was time to sell a planet for uh, three reasons. One, I had intel on a habitable planet. Two, I needed to start generating some income because my obligation from the past was now costing me 14k a month. And three, I had this wild idea that maybe if I settled a planet and became a proper faction, people might start sending me some peace deals. And you know what? This actually fucking worked. Wait, no, this isn't going to make sense because if I colonize this planet, I'm going to have no one to trade with anyway. Yeah, 99% from hostilities with other factions. <laughs> Thankfully, this old space accelerator should counter the fact that I'm at war with everyone. I know that doesn't make any sense, but just roll with it. Hopefully, now that I'm an established faction, the peace offers are going to come rolling in. Everyone's going to want to make peace with me. Any moment now. Ah, look at that. Anti-war protests. There we go. Improved relation with the League by 11. All right, what's one step forward? Ah, there's the first ceasefire offer. Luddy Church. Except. <laughs> what does that bring my access to now? Only 95% from hostilities of other factions. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, there's, the, there's another one. Ah, uh, there's Tritech. Uh, there's the Sindrian. Look at that, though. Only minus 77 from hostilities from other factions now. After feeling a little safer now with a few ceasefire agreements under my belt, I headed out to have a little look around the surrounding systems, only to stumble across this. I appear to have found the mothership unintentionally. But here she is. I reckon we could just kill this thing with the Eradicator with all the hammers that it's got on it. That's one part dead. All right, get over here. It's another bit dead. It's another chunk basically dead. There we are. <laughs> Turns out all I really needed was uh, an eradicator and 20 hammerheads. And that's, that's, uh, that was that dealt with. Excellent work, boys. Well, that's a mothership unintentionally killed. So free Alpha AI core. So we should probably go whack that on the planet. Well, with the Alpha AI core in charge of the planet now, we're now making 16,700. Not enough to actually give me a profit every month, but we're getting close to it. <laughs> All right, here we are. Actually, this is what I'm looking for. I, uh, we actually got an agent here, a negotiator, which is actually really good because we can use her to raise relations. Right, who is the strongest faction? Okay, the Hedge are currently the big boys, which is understandable. So let's go over to Intel. All right, let's send my agent over to... Uh, let's send her over to the Hedge and uh, she can basically make friends with them for me. Right, well, this is going to cost me like 60 grand to raise relations between 12 and 18 with the Hedge, but it's definitely worth it. Let's have a look at like the overall faction relations. You know, they're still looking a little bit orange, but, you know, there's a couple of them which are looking pretty good. Oh, look at that. My plan worked. The Hedge and me have requested a ceasefire. With a ceasefire with the Hedge and a few other factions, they're starting to get a little bit confident. And then also finding this uh, battleship, apparently. It was time to pay the pirates that had a station a couple of stars across from me a little visit. Okay, so after using my operative to have a little look what's on this planet, it turns out they only have about 264 militia, so the ground invasion should be relatively easy. It's just the, uh... Destroying of the station is going to be a little bit difficult considering my only battleship I have is this hunk of garbage. If I remember correctly, it's a medium station, so this should be a walk in the park. All right, Mr. Pyro. Oh my God, that's a big defending fleet. Goddamn Dickerson. Why have you got to do this to me? Actually, I wonder if I got an idea. I wonder if I can bait him out by taking the comms relay. Let's see if Mr. Dickerson will move. Dickerson has been baited. Let's go and take the station. <laughs> This is not going to work at all. This is such a bad idea. God damn, these EMP missiles, they need to fuck off. I'm over here in no man's land. I'm about to get the full brunt of the station. Ow, 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 ow. Thank God for heavy armor, am I right? Ow, ow, ow. God damn it. I hate these EMP missiles. We're about to, I think we're about to get our ass kicked here. Yeah, I think that's the end of our ship. God damn, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Sharp alarms, I know I'm having a bad time. <laughs> Run away with my one ship that I have. Oh, we lost so much money this month as well from all the supplies and marines and stuff that I bought. Oh, the Ludic Path are chasing me now. Yeah, now we get to play the fun game of uh, desperately defending my base. <laughs> After that terrible defeat, uh, both the Ludic Church and the Hedge decided to fuck me. The Church, I managed to fight off quite easily. However, the Hedge was, uh, yeah. 
How am I meant to beat that? It's got two capital ships in it. What the fuck? This is my fleet. <laughs> this is the fleet I've managed to put together. But you know what? It might just be enough. Oh my god. They are just swamping the station. God, the station is getting just absolutely wrecked. I've got a feeling, boys. Uh, this boy is a lost battle. I don't think we're going to win this one. The station is down. All right, turn it around. Retreat. We're not winning this fight. I also swear to God, if I get killed by that kite, I'm just going to quit playing this game forever. No! No, some missile. No, the Legion's coming. No! My beautiful ship. Well, at least I've been picked up here on my main planet, I guess. Let's just, just rip all the AI cores out. All right, that one's not leaving. Well, if I can't find it, they're not going to be able to find it. Three AI cores confiscated. They stole my alpha AI core. No! My planet only makes 17,000 now. Oh my God, it was making me like 70K. Still crumbling now, isn't it? Still falling down. Let's just hide over here. And you thought that was bad. Just as I was recovering, I managed to run into the only Luddite that wouldn't be bribed. What? Why can't I give you money? I want to pay you. I want to donate. Why does this have to resort to violence? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! <laughs> It's safe to say things started going downhill rapidly after that. I was hit by constant raids from remnants. The hedge kept sending invasion fleets at me and bombing my planet until it looked like this. Minus 10 stability for remnant raid. Look, they've literally bombed everything. Everything has been disrupted. Oh yeah, I did find a pristine nano forge, which was like the only good thing that happened. And you know what caused all this bullshit? The pirates. They should have just let me take over their station and none of this would have happened. So I knew what had to be done. All right, there's the station. Okay, it's got uh, uh, Dickerson's fleet guarding it again. That's okay. We'll do the same thing we did last time. We're going to steal the comms relay and uh, <laughs> hopefully that will distract Mr. Dickinson. Right, there he goes. See you later, mate. I'm just going to go blow up your home whilst you're taking that back. All right, Mr. Mid-Tier Station. You might have had the first win against me, but you ain't going to have a second. All right, here we go. Out comes the Reapers. Fuck his shield up. Get the DACA going. And then just ram it. Ram them. Yeah! <laughs> ram the station! <laughs> My engines are gone, but we'll wait to line up the shot again. Okay, Reapers didn't make it. But I sure am. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, who's laughing now? Do it again. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Okay, I, I, we have no armor on the front of our ship anymore. Remember, folks, it's not about winning or losing. It's about sending a message. And this sent a pretty big message of... Uh, be afraid. Be very, very afraid. <laughs> After ramming the shit out of that station, I did what had to be done. And that was to kill every motherfucker on that station. All my problems stem from this station, so they could die for all I care. So it's been a real hot minute since I've done any, like, real recording. But I thought I'd give you guys an update and a little conclusion to this story. As you can see, I'm doing pretty good for myself now. I got a nice bunch of planets, which are all making me quite a bit of cash. I'm raking in just under 400k a month, and you're probably wondering, oh, Ra, how did you do this? How did you uh, become so successful? I joined the hedge. I had to do what I had to do to survive, all right? And it worked out very well for me. We've killed a couple of factions. I've got a plenty. I've got loads of planets. I'm safe. I've won this challenge. Look at my fleet. I've got some decent ships. Everything is going well for me, all right? All it took was... Uh, simping to the hedge so they stopped invading me as always a massive thank you to all my patreons and youtube channel members which is now a thing if you want to become one uh if you liked the video please give it a like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll uh, see you all again in the future